audience's last opportunity to walk away with a t-shirt. Who wants a t-shirt? Highest stakes in the t-shirt game. You know what, boys? We didn't get a t-shirt. I feel like we deserve a t-shirt. You got a t-shirt? Oh, here it is. This fight's canceled. What? Yeah, go get Omar and bring him over here for a quick interview. Hey, Mel, could you grab Omar Ali real quick? All right, fight yeah. fan. Tonight we're doing two. We have two awesome knockouts tonight, so I'm comfortable hey. to get away. Right now, we're rolling with the main event. Please help me welcome Griffin Thomas to the cage for your first co knockout of the evening. And a big round of applause for Jake Armenta. Yeah. Well deserved. Good stuff. First round head kick KO. That's absolutely KO over the night, in my opinion. Yeah. Although the one punch in 10 seconds was pretty good yeah, as well. Chris Button. Omar. What happened to your opponent, my friend? <laughs> I think he just gets so honestly. Oh, oh no. Now, well, we were all waiting for your walkout, too. <laughs> oh, I had Can, a, can I had you give us an to, idea of what you were going to do? I, I don't want to give it away. It's, do it it's next time, then. We'll keep it we close can't to wait. the chest. Now, I don't want to obviously disrupt this right here, so we'll take a little bit of a moment before we interview, if that's all right. All right. This is the drama that I live for. Let's just keep that rolling. I want to keep that going. But Jake, thank you very much, sir. Let's get Griffin in here. Let's get rolling on the main event. Griffin. Where's that going when you get home? We got Jay Ozbet and Arizona. How do you feel about the sport? Feel good. I feel like people want some smoke from AZ Combat. We're doors always open, baby. I'll see you next week. Yeah. Griffin has waited three shows for this fight, and I gotta tell you guys, he performed. You're ready. We're happy to have you guys here. Make your bow, get your pictures, gentlemen. All right, we've got Omar Ali here inside hey. the studio. Omar crushed that we can't wait to, uh, or we can't see you perform for this title. What's going through your head right now? Um, that I just need to get something to eat, um, and definitely gotta get a workout in tomorrow since I can't get one in tonight. You know. That's, I'm not mad at the guy though. All oh, right, fight fans! Omar, how long was your camp ready? this time for this fight? That's why I'm not mad. I didn't really have Ladies a camp. I didn't have a camp. It's time uh, last for your week, main event my job overworked me. I still worked out a little bit after, but it, well, I couldn't do much. And then, Please help me welcome and then earlier this week, Prince I actually to the blue pulled out. And then my job told me last minute, like, oh, I could have Thursday oh, wow. and Friday off. Me win. I'm like, oh, I call them back, and then I pull back in. Then I get the weigh-ins. My original opponent fails his blood work. And then this guy steps uh. in. I'm like, oh, he saved the car. Like, what a what a good person. Well, maybe and a then, blessing in disguise here. And then here. he just walked yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I, uh, we want to get to you, Omar, but, of course, we've got the main event walking out right now. It's going to direct the attention back to that. Of course, Chris Crosby, 36 years young, resides in Denham Springs, Louisiana. Eight and four as a pro, 100% finishing rate, seven submissions, one KO, all coming in the first round. This is his Rage in the Cage debut, but he's fought all across the United States with Bayou FC, Global Legion FC, and Midwest Fight League. He holds a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu under Eric Raposo and Josh Mancuso. Oh. His BJJ beginnings were once again from a Ken Shamrock instructional book. He's been around forever, and I can't wait to see him perform tonight. I like it. Everybody go to sleep on us here. Message board. Nobody's talking anymore. What time is it in Texas, guys? Tell me again. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and welcome Brian Kelly to the ring. 
Listen, guys, we got Ryan Kelly coming up here. This kid's back against the wall. Ryan Kelly again, yeah. Two fight skid. He is coming in here for redemption. Similarly, 36 years old, seven and three as a professional, three submissions, four decisions. He he's trains out of Team done. Scrub with Dan Fickett. He's been training for 14 years. This is his sixth Rage in the Cage appearance since 2007. He says Chris Crosby's a nice guy, but he wants that KO. And he's vacationing to Greece in three weeks. I'm sure he wants to go to Greece a Absolutely. winner tonight, Sean. Keep in mind, guys, this is a pro fight. Okay, this may be a different look of what you've been seeing with the amateurs. Although we do have a very small cage, it's not a huge pro cage, right? It's a smaller cage, so the action's gonna be pretty quick here. What do you think? I mean, the action's been quick all night long. Yes. I think they're gonna throw some haymakers right off the bat here, but there's a lot riding on the line for both of these guys. I mean, we talked about Ryan Kelly could ill afford another loss here tonight when he's really trying to make it up the ranks here. He drops a third straight fight tonight. I don't know what's next in line for him. What well, can be next? I mean, he's gonna have to go back to the drawing board, think about what he's doing, think about where he should. And even at 36 years old, I believe we said, at 36 years old, he's really gonna have to give it a second thought on where he needs to go after that. Christopher Crosby with everything to gain in this fight tonight, Ryan Kelly fighting. I don't want to say fighting for his career, but it almost seems like that way. Absolutely. Again, back up.